Today, we are going to look at how to use the extrude faces along normals and extrude individual faces in Blender in comparison with extrude faces or simply the default extrude. So let's get started. Let us first delete this cube and let's add a sphere. Let's duplicate this to make another sphere and another sphere. Let's hide the light. So for this sphere, we will use the default extrude. For this sphere, we will use extrude faces along normals. And for this sphere, we will use extrude individual faces. Okay, so let's start with this sphere. Tap to edit mode. Press 3 to go to face select mode. And let's say that we want to extrude these faces. Now press E to extrude. And then move your mouse. Let's just say that we want to extrude it by one unit. Tap the object mode. Now let's go to this sphere. Tap to edit mode. And let us select the corresponding faces. So this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And for this sphere, we will use extrude faces along normals. So press Alt E and then choose extrude faces along normals. Then move your mouse. And let's say that we want to extrude it by one unit. Tap to object mode. Now you will immediately see the difference between the default extrude and extrude faces along normals. With the default extrude, the faces are extruded along the average normal of the selected faces. While in the extrude faces along normals, the faces were extruded along the normals of each face. Now the extrude faces along normals option has a fattening or shrinking effect when you extrude faces that are adjacent to each other. Like for example, let's tap to edit mode and select these faces which are adjacent to each other and then extrude them using the extrude faces along normals option so alt e extrude faces along normals and then move your mouse say again by a distance of one unit and you will notice that the faces were extruded along their normals plus there's also this scaling or fattening effect and also the faces stick to each other. Now, if this is not the effect that you want, that can be solved by using extrude individual faces. So let's tap this sphere to object mode and go to this last sphere. Tap to edit mode and then select these faces which are adjacent to each other. And we will use the extrude individual faces option. So Alt E, extrude individual faces. And then move your mouse by a distance of say one unit and you will see that the faces did not stick to each other compared to this one and also there's no scaling or fattening effect let's stop to object mode so that's how to use the extrude faces along normals and extrude individual faces in comparison with extrude faces or the default extrude hope you enjoyed it